Okay, so as you've seen on the last episode, we played a show in Vegas and then we headed over to Texas to have some fun with the Ballinger group, and some baseball players, had a blast, shot a lot of shotgun shells, shot a lot of beer cans, had a good time. But then we headed down to South Texas to meet up with my buddy Brad and see if we could put a little hurting on the coyote population down there while they're trying to get their deer population up. You don't want to hit her out. She ain't been out in a while. <laughs> this is my Texas knife. So this is a 6.5 Grendel. I believe it's a European military round. A lot of people have been using it to deer hunt with. But I wanted to be different when I built this gun. So I decided to make it a caliber that I have to call my friends in Texas to buy ammo for me. <laughs> can't find this shit nowhere. Y'all got the hookup on 6.5 Grendel. So this little dude right here, fat and powerful. Like me. Just like, <laughs> like Josh. Uh, <laughs> Y'all are powerful, dude. I mean, like when I try and like act like I'm gonna buck up on you every now and then, you just like, you just let me know. Just, <laughs> I was like, just, we ain't going nowhere, man. I mean? yeah. We ain't moving, are we? I love this round, dude. It's a great round. It takes care of business. I mean, it packs a punch. These things hit hard. I think they say effective range on these things is like 800 yards. I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna have to, you gotta dope your scope a little bit for that, but. Yeah, cause it's gonna be dropping yeah. kind of thing. But it's a pretty flat shooting round. I mean, I'd say it's fairly flat up to 375, 400 yards. You can adjust this, pull these out. Oh yeah, that's nice. So then you got more. A little extendable tripod. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're down in prone position or something. Believe it or not, this is the one guns don't kill people and spoons don't make you fat. Dude, my spoons made me fat. No, that was you <laughs> using a spoon. You used another shovel. <laughs> <laughs> I had six spoons going at once. <laughs> I watched you eat that Mexican food plate today. <laughs> like, Put that shovel down. <laughs> what the f man? Dude, how do you think I grow these titties, man? Oh, oh, man. out here man so you know obviously you have the steering wheel brakes gas up top and a shifter yeah and it comes through the roof you have your throttle and your brake line they go into the engine compartment you see you have a drive shaft that comes from the steering wheel down to to this steering wheel hell yeah hey hey oh shit do you make no i don't oh. make those this was a very uh it's a coincidence the guy that made this his name is brad also <laughs> i'm gonna show you like, what goes on up here <laughs> so you can drive it up here you can start it up here you can gas it up here you can break it up here and you can shoot shit from up here we don't have a roll up here we don't need these in kentucky because well, it wouldn't do a damn bit of good. Your face would be in the tree limbs the whole damn time he was driving around. We're about to go see if old Wiley Coyote can uh, meet good. Jesus today. <laughs> Thank you. 
God dang, what a trigger. <laughs> Shit. Dude, I mean, I, I breathe. Dead nut. Dude, that trigger's awesome. I barely touched it. It's just, the deer over here is incredible, but I want to see this deer. I want to see Big Chief. I'm it's cheap. almost at a point now where he's like, I might have trouble shooting him because he's like a, he's kind of like a friend. You've had a metaphorical relationship with him for a little while. <laughs> I've had a metaphorical relationship with, with Big Chief. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if, if I kill him, does it stop something? Is this the end of an era? You know? Nope. It's a full freezer and a big old head on the wall. <laughs> you shoot him, you just get to really appreciate him the rest of your life. Yeah, you look at him all the time. time. every day. All right, y'all check back in with us real shortly. We're going to have an episode where we go sling a little more lead down in South Texas, and you'll find out all about the infamous Big Chief. <laughs>